Hi, I'm Daphne Bram. I'm columnist for the Vancouver Sun. And I'm in New Westminster with Jim Wolfe, who's a, an historian and also a planner. And um, we're walking in his neighborhood today. And Jim, can you tell me, what are the three things that you, you love about New Westminster? What I love about New Westminster is it's got such a great connection to its environment. We're down here on the Fraser River. The Fraser River created the city. And everywhere you go in New Westminster, you're not far from it. The next thing is really the history of this place. You can't take a step in New Westminster without walking on history. And as a historian, it's even more as you walk through the city, you see all these connections and people and places and that, that really brings, brings it all together for me. And finally, I think the thing that really makes New Westminster New Westminster is the people and community. It's a great city to walk in. The, the Quay is a great place to start. If you've never been to New Westminster before, you can come out on SkyTrain and just walk down here at the Quay for a couple of miles. Every neighborhood has great places. I think the really fascinating thing about New Westminster right now is that the city has always been very progressive. And in the 1980s and 1990s, we lost that sense of being progressive and what it means to have a great vision for a great city. And if you walk down at the Quay today, you'll see that New Westminster is investing in a wonderful new park called Westminster Pier Park, which will be um, acres on the river of public open space. We've also got a new downtown civic center happening. And I think that's really changing the tide of what New Westminster was to something that's really new and exciting. My neighborhood is the Queen's Park neighborhood of New Westminster and the reason why I love it so much is the homes and the gardens. We have over 120 years of history of local architecture and as you move through the streets of New Westminster there's some large streets and small streets but what makes it such a, a friendly neighborhood place are the beautiful gardens and the porches that are really close to the street. So no matter where you're walking you're really filled with all this sense of color and interaction of people and the neighborhood that, that you enter. So I think if you come to New Westminster you have to do Queen's Park and it's not just the park itself, walk the streets, enjoy the architecture and um, learn about this place.